My name is Claudia Townsend. I'm a professor at Miami Business School, and this is my story. I think a lot of what marketing does is it takes these fundamental economic models and says this is great, but when we actually look at human behavior, sometimes this doesn't apply. So there's one thing we talk about, we talk about humans as a cognitive miser, meaning we don't actually exert all our mental capacities to make every decision. If we did, we'd be still at, at home deciding what to have for breakfast. So we use habits, we use little rules of thumb or heuristics. When you go to the grocery store, you're not trying to optimize every purchase decision. You might have some kind of rules. I'll just buy the generic because I know generic is cheap. Or I just, I'll buy the name brand because I know that I, I won't be disappointed. So marketing is looking at when human behavior might vary from those economic models and trying to understand what's going on there. It really is a, it's a combination of economics and psychology. It is kind of what people ought to do if we're essentially robots. Um, that's kind of the economic model. And then you bring in the psychology to try to understand, okay, when people aren't acting that way, what's actually going on? I, I really, I do research in two areas. More broadly, most of my research looks at visual presentations, so product aesthetics, how products are presented or how products are um, displayed, and how that influences uh, consumer behavior. I also have work that looks at um, how people decide whether to donate to a nonprofit, and so what a solicitation from a nonprofit, how to optimize that solicitation. So I have some research recently that looks at actually identifies that the decision to donate and how much to donate are actually two separate decisions that are motivated by different kind of psychological processes. So when I'm deciding whether to donate or not, it's a lot about me. Do I want to be associated with this organization? Does this organization, does it seem close to me in some way? But when I'm deciding how much, okay, now I've decided to give, and now, I've decided, now I need to decide how much, that comes down to the organization the cause, how needy it seems. Um, so you can kind of offer different information to differentially influence whether someone's gonna donate versus if they're gonna donate more versus less. So that's a recent publication I have. One of the biggest um, things that continues to amaze me and is kind of the basis for the field of academic research and marketing, or at least on the consumer behavior side, which is what I study, is that we fundamentally as consumers think we have strong preferences, think we know what we like and what we dislike. And what we see time and time again is that our preferences really are strongly influenced by circumstances. So how they're presented to us, um, the words used, what other options are available, who's presenting them, what context they're presented in. And so I think that overall has been the biggest lesson for me. And even though I study this and I read about it and I research it, it's, I, I continue to be amazed by it. It's an exciting place to be. It's not a place where people say, okay, great, we're doing good work, let's just leave it at this. But it's a place where we are constantly evolving what we know, what we're teaching, identifying what our students need to know to lead in the market, and adding that to the curriculum. Uh, recently, we added an AI class, artificial intelligence and marketing, um, to the curriculum because we know that that is kind of where the future is going and where marketing is today, so we want to make sure our students understand that. 